gonna make the macaroni and cheese. And what we do with the macaroni and cheese is you're gonna buy the deluxe original cheddar, this box, and you're gonna make the uh, macaroni and cheese on the stove top according to the instructions on the back. Make sure you buy this box and not this box. It's not gonna taste that great. It won't work, as a matter of fact. So you make sure you buy this box. So you, you know, make the macaroni and cheese according to those directions that is on the box, and this is how it's going. It's going to look just like that, okay? Now, where the bake part comes in is you're going to spray a casserole dish or whatever dish you have. I spray it with Pam, you know, use the butter, just so my macaroni and cheese won't stick. Um, and then I actually pour my mac and cheese over into the baking dish. So let's do that. Cheese. And it ain't even cheesy yet, and I love it, because I love myself some cheese. So depending on how much you love cheese is how, depending on how much uh, cheese you put in there. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a craft uh, mild cheddar, and you're going to add it to your baked macaroni and cheese. Just pour it in there. And you're gonna stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Mm -mm, look at that cheese melt. Mm -mm. And if you are a, a cheese fanatic like I just mentioned, you can add a whole lot more cheese. You can add different cheeses. We're gonna just, I'm just gonna put a little dab in it because you know I like cheese. So I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese just for the heck of it. Stir it up in there and make it good. Okay. And then while your mac and cheese is still hot, you're gonna add a stick of butter. Now remember what I said, you don't eat like this every day, but that butter is going to take it over the top. So you add in a stick of butter. So after you get your butter all melted and put in there, you're gonna add a can of cheddar cheese, Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. Put that in there, it's gonna pop out, I think. Yo, I got a spoon here, you can help it out. And I love cheese, as I mentioned, so get it all in there and good. And then, after you get all the cheese, let's do more cheese. Ooh, look at that goodness. much as a bit that you can. You're gonna use that same can and you're going to pour milk in there. You can use whatever kind of milk you want to. This is a 2% milk or yeah, 2% reduced milk. Cause you know, we're trying to watch our calories. So you're gonna pour that in here. And then you're going to put an egg in there. And you're just gonna stir it all up and make it good. Look at that, look at that. I'm gonna use my smaller spoon here because it actually makes more sense for me to use my small, smaller spoon. Stir it all up. And this all is good and soupy. I like my macaroni and cheese. I've been told some don't like my macaroni and cheese. It's excellent. You can make it and judge for yourself. So you make sure it's all stirred up really good. And I'm actually thinking about putting a little bit more cheese in here. Because as I mentioned, I really like cheese. So I'm just going to make sure it's all stirred up really good. to make sure our egg is broken up inside of here because you don't want the eggs to be clumpy in here. And you see all that goodness and cheese, right? So I think I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese because like I said, I really like cheese. So I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese in here. Just a little bit, just to give it a little dabble. Dab a dabble. Again, no measurements. No measurements, you just put it in there. You know what you like and what you don't like. Just put it in there and stir it up. And 
then we're going to place this in the oven on 400 for about 45 minutes or so. Um, you can check it, it might not, depending on your stove, it might not take 45 minutes, but you'll see um, that the tart is um, kind of melding together and you'll know that it's ready. Because um, basically your macaroni is already ready and you just added some other ingredients that you want to get all congealed in there together. And so from there, that's how you bake your macaroni and cheese.